Reb Nachum of Chernobyl was a well-known Hasid of the Baal Shem Tov. And from time to time, throughout his entire life, he would collect money for poor brides. He'd go from town to town, collecting money, bring it back to the Baal Shem Tov. He never knew who these brides were. He never knew who the money was going for. He did it for his Rebbe, he did it for Hashem. One day the Ban Shem Tov calls Reb Nachum over and says, Nachum, I need 10,000 rubles for poor brides somewhere in Russia. It doesn't matter where. I need you to collect the money. So Reb Nachum, without even questioning, heads out. And where does he go? You need money? Who in the Jewish world has money? You go to the wealthiest cities. So where did he go? He went to Brat in Poland. And he gets to Brat, and he's there for two weeks, going door to door, major wealthy person to major wealthy person. And after two weeks, he didn't even collect one ruble. Not one ruble, he needed 10,000 rubles, and collected anything. So he went outside of town, sat by the river on a rock. And he's sitting there, he's talking with Hashem. He says, Hashem, you know, if I was collecting this money for myself, I could understand you don't want to give me. Who am I? Who am I for you to give me 10,000 rubles? But I'm collecting it for the Holy Ban Shem Tov. And he's giving it to these poor brides that none of us even know who they are. Hashem, I'm doing this for you. What are you causing me such pain for? Two weeks? You didn't even give me one ruble? What, what's with that Hashem? He's sitting there and he's angry at Hashem. He's angry at Hashem. The time that he wasted, the time he could have been learning. All of a sudden in the distance he sees three people walking towards him. And as they get closer, he realizes that it's two policemen handcuffed to a Jew. And this Jew is walking towards Reb Nachum, and he's singing a little tune. Finally reaches Reb Nachum. Reb Nachum says, "Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? What is this? What did this Jew do?" The handcuffed Jew, obviously a, a thief, he looks at Reb Nachum and he says, "What? You don't know me?" So Reb Nachum says, um, "I'm new here. I've only been in town a couple weeks, and I, I haven't had the chance to meet you. Who are you?" He said, "I'm Yankele, the famous Ganev, the famous thief." So Reb Nachum says to him, Shalom Aleichem, Reb Yankele. Um, if you're so famous, tell me, what are you doing handcuffed between two policemen? So Yankele, he looks at him, he sits whistling his song. Says, ah, oh, you know, look, even the famous thieves get caught sometimes. It's part of the business. Not such a big deal. Don't pay any attention to it. Reb Nachem looks at him. He says, Reb Yankele, listen, when you get out of prison, I want to give you a bracha. I want to give you a blessing that you stop being a thief. Reb Yankele looks at him. He says, that you call a bracha? That's how you're blessing me, that I should stop doing what I started? Don't you know what a Jew is all about? He never stops doing what he started. He never stops doing what he started. With that, he was taken away by the policeman. Anyhow, Reb Nachum, he got the message. And he went back to Brat. And within just a few days, he collected 10,000 rubles. He realized, what, what was the message? 
that this thief was giving him, that he has to be besimcha. It's not just enough to go around and ask for the money. You have to do it with real joy. Joy coming from your heart. Joy coming from your gut. Joy coming from taking all the problems in your life and re-putting them back into your life and finding joy from that. And so he was able to collect the money and he went back to the Baal Shem Tov and he puts the 10,000 rubles in the Holy Rebbe's hand. The Baal Shem Tov looks at him and he says, So tell me, Nachum, how does Elijah the prophet, how does Eliyahu Navi look when he's dressed as a thief, handcuffed to two policemen? hard and it seems like everything's falling on you and nothing's working the way you want look for a little message hopefully somebody's going to come and give you a little strength and you'll take that strength and turn it into joy and through joy you'll be able to accomplish the things that you never could have accomplished without that little extra push